Lesson 30. We are going to be adding mixed numbers and fractions, all right? So let's get started. So when we have mixed numbers and fractions, the first thing that we want to do is we want to look at the fractions. We're going to first add the fractions, assuming the denominator is the same, okay? And then the second thing we want to do is add the whole. Okay, so we're going to really just add the parts and then we're going to add the whole, all right? So here, let's get started. Two-fourths and two-fourths. Well, two-fourths plus two-fourths is equal to four-fourths, which is the same as one whole, right? So we're going to have five, here's my five, okay, plus one whole is equal to six. All right, so this final answer to five and two-fourths plus two-fourths is all equal to six. Okay, let's do another one. Seven eighths, or three and seven eighths plus three eighths. So this is what we're going to look at first. So I have seven eighths plus three eighths. I know that's equal to 10 eighths. That is an improper fraction, right? So we need to make that into a mixed number. We have eight eighths and two eighths gets us 10 eighths. That's the same as one and two eighths plus the three right here. So we get four and two eighths. All right, let's do this last one. I have nine and 11 twelfths plus five twelfths. We're going to look at the fraction first. 11 twelfths plus five twelfths is equal to 16 twelfths. Remember that's an improper fraction. So we need to decompose that. That's 12 twelfths and 4 twelfths gets us 16 twelfths. That is equal to 1 and 4 twelfths. Plus, I need to look at this 9, right? So I have 10 and 4 twelfths. And that also can be put into simplest form because these two share a common factor, right? All right, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, pretty easy peasy. You just add the fractions first, and then you add the whole. Don't forget to make the fractions into a um, mixed number first, if necessary, before you add that whole. Now let's look at it a different way. I have four and seven eighths plus something equals five. Well, I know that four is one away from five, so I have to first look at this fraction. How many more eighths would get me to the next whole? Well, I know that seven eighths plus one eighth is equal to eight eighths, and eight eighths is the same as one whole. So this needs to be the one eighth. See how that works? Let's do another one just in case. All right, we have three is equal to two and one six plus something, all right? I know that two is just a whole away from a three, so I need to look at this one six. How many more six do I need to get to a whole or six six? right, because six six is equal to one whole. Well, one six plus five six is equal to six six, and that is equal to one whole, all right? Easy peasy, guys. I mean, this was a really quick lesson. You just add the fractions and add the whole, and you're done. Here are your three problems to work on tonight. The first one I need you to do is four and two thirds plus two thirds. Remember, convert if necessary, to a mixed number first. I have 50 hundredths plus 16 and 78 hundredths. And the third one I would like you to complete, it's one of those fill in the blank ones, three and two fifths plus something equals four. So I need you to figure out what goes in that blank, all right? Keep up the hard work and I will see you later.